What is up, YouTube? It's RS Mario here, aka the real Super Mario, bringing you another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video. All right, so uh, the closer we get to Pokemon Day, which more than likely where we get some official information, we get uh, the more you know little tidbits that we get coming from our regular sources of information, specifically Riddler Q. So over the last couple months, Riddler Q has been breaking down his old riddles that he did in the lead up to Scarlet and Violet. Now he seems to be giving us some little tidbits about the DLC. So of course, if you want to continue getting videos like this, uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button, do all that stuff that YouTube requires you to do to continue getting videos from me, as well as follow me at twitter.com slash rsmario128. Like my video tweet, share my video tweet, and I will shout you out at the end of the video, uh, as well as follow me at my second YouTube channel, The Loot Box Hero, where, um, Today or tomorrow, I should have my reaction and thoughts on uh, what James Gunn just announced on Twitter about the DC, un the, the DC Universe. Uh, I'm going to do a reaction to it, then I'm going to talk about it. I think I should have it out tomorrow, because I don't know if I get it out today because I got to do this video. <laughs> so, um, but check that out. There's a whole bunch of other videos over there. I'm a little bit more loose over there <laughs> than I am over here. So, you know, it's a whole different vibe over there. Um, as well as subscribe, because 80% of you guys are still not subscribed to the channel. Let's go ahead and hit that button. You know what I'm saying? Get real with the real Super Mario. All right, now let's get on into uh, the, the news. <laughs> All right, so we start off our, uh, our episode here with Riddler Q, basically saying, want to know the code name for, of DLC Project for Titan? And then he puts three Chinese characters and he says, enjoy, it's cold breaking time. <laughs> Which I swear has gotta be like a, a CM Punk reference or something. Uh, but we have DLC Waiting Room, which who says, uh, these characters are a Chinese phrase that means must be thousands or there must be thousands of them. It's often used to express surprise or amazement at a large number of something. It could be used for expressing a large number of anything like people, things, or animals. Uh, so then Pokey Sutume comes along and she says, hey, friendly reminder for all of you guys, you know, people who are probably gonna ask her, uh, I don't know Chinese, you know, but two of the characters do have a meaning in Japanese and they mean many thousand. So there's been some speculations exactly what this means. Um, some people have been trying to connect it to Zygrade because Zygrade has the moves uh, I think thousand waves and thousand arrows, so it could be a reference there. You know, Paldia is right next to Kalos, so you know maybe they could be going down that route. Like we're gonna reference, you know, Zygrade. Maybe Zygrade's connected to the third legendary, or maybe the third legendary is another Zygrade form. Um, that's possible, but honestly, I think if they were going to reference. Kalos like directly like that it probably would have been in sword and shield mainly because remember sword and shield was based off of the uk and there are a few countries that have a history with france which is what Kalos was based off of like the uk okay the the, the hundred years war the 30 years war the napoleonic wars the first two the first two world wars all of them in some way involve the UK and France. You know what I'm saying? Either in a big way or not. You know, and um, there are a few countries that have the same type of history as those two do. But uh, yeah, it could be a reference. Another thing could be a reference to terrestrial crystals or terra crystals. They, you know, there could be thousands of terra crystals in the DLC. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the tarot crystals are connected to the third legendary. We've all seen the picture of the crystals with the eye in it, with the angry eyeballs in it. We've all seen those pictures. So we kind of know that, that the third legendary, possibly evil, possibly connected to, to terrorizing. Uh, it also could be a reference to the, the thousands of combinations that you could do with the terrestrial gimmick. All right, because honestly, there's a thousand Pokemon and there's 18 typings, all right? So there's thousands, maybe tens of thousands of different ways you can use the terrestrial gimmick to change, you know, the way, the way you play Pokemon. So 
I mean, that could be uh, a reference to it as well. Uh, but then we have uh, Eclipse coming in. So Eclipse comes in and he's like, I'm just smiling seeing a trustable leaker indirectly pinpointing my own stuff as, uh, as well for my blocked account. Uh, that's what's happening. It's not like you can understand with just this. Of course, I'll explain what it is, what is the deal since early December 2021, I knew tidbits about Gen 9. And so then he posts a picture of Mount Kalish. If you don't know what Mount Kalish is or Mount Kalish, uh, it is a mountain or part of a mountain range in, in uh, Tibet which is technically Western China now. And uh, the mountain range runs into India. And so then he goes on to say, uh, I'm sure people still remember this pic without apparent meaning. I also picked this exact picture because it, I found it on the English wiki, which is where I wanted the readers to fall since it's in there, there's key for the resolution of the riddle slash hint I wasn't playing. Then he goes on to say, this is this is what is being hinted by right now by Q. And this is what I posted long ago on my block account exactly regarding this topic. Watch a past A Drive video covering this. And then the A Drive video basically talks about um, speculation about Mount Kalish and about how the new region might be India. And then it, it talks about the Copper Roger reference that Q had made in a different a riddle, but basically saying that, the, the, you know, Gen 9 might be in India. But then Eclipse goes on to say, I wasn't hinting at Gen 9 region inspiration. I never create obvious riddles slash hints. So basically saying that he wasn't directly referencing where the region was going to be, but something about Mount Kalish is going to be involved in the game or in the, the, the DLC. Well, he, he was probably talking about the game since nobody even knew about the DLC in 2021. So he then goes on to say, I won't expand more regarding my past hints. That's not what I want and what people are interested in. If it was, if, mm, I can't read. <laughs> if it will be solved, good. If not, just wait for the DLC main theme inspiration and the third legendary. Nothing that crazy, by the way. It's like knowing what they wanted to do. I still don't know the result of all of Game Freak's works, especially since it was postponed as DLC content. And before it's released, almost two years passed since I knew about it. So it could be totally different now. Again, Q's recent tweet is the code name so the content surely survived so basically what he's saying here is that he knew about this but he didn't know everything about it he knew that it was going to be a part of the game and that very well things about this could have changed since it was it went from something in the core game to being dlc uh which is very possible but some more about mount college uh, so in, in in Tibet, you know the Tibetan Buddhists call call it Kangri Kangri Mountain Kangri Rinpoche Kangri Kangri Rinpoche. I doubt I said that wrong. I know the one Tibetan guy is gonna be like really mad. The one Tibetan guy that watches this channel, uh, but basically it means precious snow mountain. So Bon texts have many names. Uh, as well as Water's Flower, Mountain of Seawater, Nine Stacked Swastika Mountain. Now, Swastika was a whole different thing in in, 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 in Asia than it was in Europe. So, you know, uh, for Hindus, it is the home of the Hindu god Shiva. And it's believed that Shiva resides there. Not that Shiva, but that Shiva. And that's where we're going to hone in on this. Because in Hinduism, it is traditionally recognized, recognized as the abode of Shiva, who resided there along with his consort goddess, uh, Par Parvati, and their children, Ganesha, which is the, the elephant head god from, you know, Hindu religion, and that person, because <laughs> I, I can't say that, I, I don't know how to say that, but in the 
um, Altara Kanda section of the epic Ramayama, Ramayana, <laughs> it is said that Ravana attempted to uproot Mount Kalish as retaliation to Lord Shiva, who in turn pressed his big toe upon the mountain, trapping Ravana in between, basically in between the mountain and Shiva's toe. Uh, this version of Lord Shiva is also referred to as that word that is very long. <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, this could be a reference to the third legendary, you know what I'm saying? And maybe there could be an evil force that, you know, tried to, tried to destroy, you know, uh, Paldia at some point and the third legendary stopped it. That's why the third legendary is in area zero now. It could be anything. So what do you think? Uh, tell me in the comments down below. Of course, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button, and subscribe for more uh, coverage on this and Fire Emblem Engage. And keep it real.